What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, today, I did have a video going live. That was about Sledgehammer Games and Vanguard and some, you know, complaints that I had about that. But I think I'm going to go ahead and postpone that video for tomorrow because some very, very, very interesting information has been released in the middle of my recording. So, like I said, I had to go ahead and make a second video here. So, if you guys do want to see that Sledgehammer Games video, it's going to be posted tomorrow. But I had to go ahead and clear the schedule for today so I can give you guys this information. Now, for those who don't know, uh, and also if you guys want to go ahead and follow me on any of my social medias, like Twitter, for example, uh, the links to all that stuff are down in the description. But over on Twitter, and I'm pretty sure every other social media as well, the Call of Duty pages and Infinity Ward have all finally officially showcased what is coming out, and that is Modern Warfare 2. Basically the game that's coming out for Call of Duty 2022. But this is the thing. Basically what they revealed was the logo. That's about it. I'm actually going to go ahead and download this logo. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's no problem because they officially released it finally over on Twitter. And I'll show you guys exactly what, you know, has been posted up here. Now, if I was like 12 years old, this right here would have turned me absolutely up. I would have been going crazy. I would have been hyping it up. I would have been extremely excited. But I'm not 12 anymore. And I've been screwed over by Call of Duty pretty much every single year. So my hype is pretty much, you know, down to the floor. That's how I handled Vanguard. It treated me very well because, like I said, I wasn't expecting anything out of Vanguard. And it didn't give me anything to expect, so it kind of worked out for me. And I'm probably going to continuously do the same thing throughout all the other games as well. But if you go under this tweet here, and I'm going to leave that for you guys. If you guys want to actually see the stuff, it's over on Infinity Ward's official Twitter page and also on Call of Duty's official Twitter page. But under all of these posts of this logo... People are absolutely turning up. And I'm going to keep it real. I know I just said I would only be like this if I was 12, but realistically, you know, as an adult, I would be really excited to see this. You know, I love Infinity Ward. I love the Modern Warfare franchise. It's my favorite franchise out there, and obviously Infinity Ward's my favorite development team who makes Call of Duty games. So realistically, yeah, I would be pretty excited to see this. But like I said, as an adult who has to pay money for these products on top of having to pay bills and pay for other things to, you know, make sure life goes on, you think about your purchases a little bit more differently. And, like I said, when you get finessed and screwed over one too many times in a row, you start to think, is this going to happen again, or are we going to just get finessed all over? I have seen each and every one of these individuals who are turning up for this game say that they hate the direction this game is going towards, they say they hate that Warzone is the primary objective of Call of Duty now, that they hate all the changes they're making in Call of Duty multiplayer, yet they're hyping up a logo. You know, if we saw gameplay, it might have been a different story. If we saw a campaign, might have been a different story. This is a logo. We don't get any bit of information from this besides the name of the game and the color palette they're going to stick with. This is how Activision makes their money. They know people are going to do this every single year. Why do you think they don't go ahead and branch out and try to make different game names? Why do you think the Black Ops franchise is still going on, even though technically I would consider Black Ops 2 or even Black Ops 3 being the final introduction into the Black Ops franchise, but then they make Black Ops 4, and then they make Black Ops Cold War. And same thing with the Modern Warfare franchise. They branched out, they tried Ghost, they tried Infinite Warfare, guess what? Both of those games, even though I personally like them, because like I said, I'm an Infinity Ward fan, I pretty much enjoy a lot of their work. But a lot of people hated those games, guess what happened? Modern Warfare 2019, they literally just copied Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So instead of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, it's Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And here we are with the next title, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. You see what I'm saying here? Activision lives off of nostalgia baiting all of their community. This game could literally look like Roblox right now. But because they used a Modern Warfare 2 and they had the sexy, you know, green color palette that we all love from the original Modern Warfare days, it's like, oh my god, it's back! It's time to party! Let's go! Call of Duty Modern Warfare is all back and at it again. Like, we need to stop and take a moment here. We know what this game is going to turn out to be. Is there potential? Yes. Don't get me wrong. I, out of anybody out there, wants this game to succeed a lot. I've said it about five times in this video. I'm going to say it again. I love Infinity Ward. Their games are fantastic. I love their design decisions. I love their more tactical approach of Call of Duty compared to Treyarch's more fast-paced arcade approach. Infinity Ward has always been my main studio. 
But like I said, sometimes you gotta sit down and think realistically, mature up the brain a bit and actually think about what this company has been doing to us on a year to year basis. They are the ultimate definition of scum. Yet, yet, they make billions of dollars every year. Hmm, I wonder why. Is it because there's hundreds and thousands of people hyping up a freaking logo? Hmm, I don't know. And this is going to trend. People are going to see this. The hype is going to go on. More people are going to dig their nails into it. And it's going to get to the point where they're going to be able to release anything. They don't have to release anything good whatsoever. They could release, like I said, a Roblox clone. <laughs> and people are going to still pre-order it just because the logo looks fancy like Modern Warfare 2. Like I said earlier, we all know what this game is going to be, and we all know what the future introductions into Call of Duty are going to be as well. They're all little placeholders and DLC content for Warzone. That's the whole purpose of them releasing these games. I mean, they already announced to us that they're working on Warzone 2. They literally already announced that. So people who already know that Warzone is their primary perspective, that think that out of nowhere they're going to drop Warzone when they already announced a Warzone 2 is in the works... It makes no sense. Where do you think Activision's main priority is going to be, people? Where do you think it's going to be? The game that makes them billions of dollars? Or their 6v6 experience that dies off in less than a month? Clearly, Warzone 2 is going to be their primary objective. I want Infinity War to succeed. I want them to be able to make something fantastic again. I really do. I really, really, really freaking do. But we've been finessed so often. People are going to say, well, they're talking about this game, you know, technology is next level, it's next gen. Oh my god, the graphics are going to be insane. We hear this every year. They said that for Vanguard. They said that for Cold War. They said that for Modern Warfare, Black Ops 4. We heard a bunch of crap. Every year they find a new selling point to finesse the community and we fall for it. Why are we falling for it again? I admit, I'm one of those people who have fallen into the cycle. I love Call of Duty. I understand where you guys are coming from. I've been playing since Call of Duty 2. I literally watched the decline of this whole franchise. You think it doesn't hurt me? You think I don't want to see this game be successful? Trust me, I really do. But like I said, you have to think realistically. If you've been screwed over for so many years, you think they're going to just stop out of the blue? No. Microsoft doesn't even have full control of Call of Duty yet. It's still Activision that's in charge of all of these decisions. This just has to be one of those situations where they have to prove me wrong. They have to prove to me that they do care about the 6v6 side of things because I'm not going to believe their words anymore. Every single time I do, I look like an idiot. I look like an absolute idiot. I hype up your games. I believe every word you guys say, and you always throw me under the bus each and every time. Guys, please, calm down. If it was gameplay, that's fantastic. You know what? Whatever. If it's gameplay, then let's start talking about it. Let's start. I wasn't even going to make this video. I literally was not going to make this video because we've known for months now that the game was called Modern Warfare 2. This isn't a surprise. Almost a year ago, we learned this game was called Modern Warfare 2. We knew this. So what, what is there to hype up? Like I said, I wasn't going to make a video. The only reason I'm making a video is because the community is going nuts over a freaking logo a, a reveal. It's, I'm trying to comprehend it, but my brain doesn't want to comprehend it because it's just so freaking ridiculously just mind-boggling. It, it really is. It really is. This is it's going to turn out the same. I, I, I already know how it's going to turn out. You know, everybody's going to pre-order the hell out of it. They're going to make their money. The game's going to come out. Everybody's going to be like, oh my god, this game. What's going on? This isn't Call of Duty. This doesn't play like COD. Oh, this is Warzone 2 DLC content. No, oh, this game was made so Warzone could be better. Everybody's going to say that. Yet, they're the same people who are sitting here tweaking out over a logo. But I do want to end off on a little bit more positive of a note. I know I said it a little bit earlier, but trust me, I don't want this game to fail. I know I sound very negative. It's just because the community always jumps the gun every single time something comes out for COD. Literally, we are the reason why this game is able to be the way it is. We are the reason why this game makes billions, and they don't have to put any effort because they make the cash yearly. Because we do stuff exactly like this. We should be proven first that the game looks good, and it plays good. We should have hands-on first before we even go ahead and judge. I don't want to see a trailer. I do want to see a trailer, but I'm not even judging off of that. I'm not even judging off of the developer's gameplay. I want to play it. When I play the beta, then yes, I will go ahead and put forth my information and my opinion. But until then, calm down relax, enjoy it, don't get me wrong, enjoy, if you're a Call of Duty fan, enjoy this time, you know, this is the best time of the year, but stop overhyping it, 
and making them get the sales they always get. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for tuning in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. Bombs, I hate it. Leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new and enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe hit that bell location button. Also, if you want to chat with us, toys, do so on Twitter and Discord. Below the link down in the description. And also, if you want to catch me live streaming to video games and over on Twitch. Link that is in the description as well. But guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace out.